as if body weight exercise isn't hard enough. We're gonna add some weights into this next series. I'm going to use three pound dumbbells. This 20 minute flow will leave you feeling strengthened and lengthened. We'll start today in a child's pose with your big toes together and knees out as wide as it feels good to you. And just take a moment to settle into this shape or another comfortable starting shape. For me, that means massaging my forehead back and forth on the mat, maybe walking my fingertips a little bit further forward to really take up more space, to feel the stretch all the way through my armpits, through my upper back. Taking a couple deep breaths here, inhale, filling up the entire belly to feel it on the tops of my thighs. And then as I exhale, melting my hips even further back towards my heels. Just a couple more deep breaths, finding that breath and getting into your body as we prepare to move. On your next inhale, look forward. We're gonna start to come all the way forward here, walking your hand prints, one hand print, and then bringing your hips in line with your shoulders and your knees and doing some push-ups. I'm keeping my knees down, technically on the tops of my thighs. You can be up on the balls of your feet if you choose. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you press back up to the top, staying strong, hugging those elbows into the sides, working the triceps, making sure that there's an entirely long line from the knees to the crown of the head. Then we'll come back to a tabletop position, squaring off and go into little knee hovers here. Lifting the knees just a couple inches off the mat, right underneath the hips, palms staying underneath the shoulders. We'll do this 10 times, just a soft lift, a soft lower. Maybe they don't even tap all the way back down and then hold this position, this perfect bear plank, 90, 90 degrees. Take a couple breaths here and then softly release. Head to your downward facing dog. Maybe that means taking up a little bit more space on the mat. Maybe that means walking the dog, pedaling out one heel or the other, shaking your head. Let that neck be nice and loose. Maybe start to find a steady breath in through the nose and also back out through the nose. And then walk one foot print forward and widen your feet to the edges of the mat. We're gonna get a nice little twist. Bring that right hand to the outside of that left ankle and then place it back down. Opposite side, left to right. Again, right to left, nice twist through the low belly and then left hand to the outside of the right ankle and then right back through to center one more time. and then walk it back to that regular downward facing dog to shake it out. Feel your right leg up and back behind you, lengthen it, and then place it all the way to the outside of that right hand, peel that right arm up, and then place it back. Left side, left arm reaches all, left leg reaches all the way up, steps to the outside of that hand, and then peel up and twist. We're still warming up our body, getting ready for our flow here. Open up, twist, plant the hand back down. It's almost like we're going into a lizard lunge. Inhale, left leg up, plant it to the outside of that left hand, left arm peels and lifts. Nice twist, gaze comes up to those fingertips as they elongate. One more time through, peel and lift, open up, find that nice twist. Step it back, left side, left leg reaches. Plant the foot outside the hand, and then open twist. We'll bring that right leg all the way up and back behind you, and we'll start to find our flow. No weights this time, just leaving them on the ground. Our first position, high crescent lunge. Right foot steps forward in between the hands. We come high on the ball, that back foot, and then see if we can settle a little deeper into that front knee. You're super long through that back leg. There's no softness in the knee or in the leg, and the hips and shoulders are shining straight forward. Biceps are up, framing the ears. Take a couple breaths here in this shape and then softly step that left foot to meet the right and settle your hips down into a chair pose. 
Maybe the hands come to heart center. Maybe they open out wide in sort of a cactus shape. Maybe they just come straight out in front of you. They do not have to be all the way up by the ears if that does not feel good in your body. Take another breath here, inhale. Exhale, settle. Maybe the hips come a little tiny bit lower. Knees not tracking over the toes. And then we'll step our left foot all the way back to the back of the mat and find ourselves in a warrior one. So there's a 45 degree angle in the foot and we bring our weight to the outside edge, pressing it all the way down. Hips are still forward, just like we were in our high lunge. If this doesn't feel good, you can always just keep that back heel up. That is completely and totally fine. Maybe your hips don't feel open and ready enough for this and that is okay. One more breath in. And then exhale, we're gonna open up towards the left side of the mat and just settle into your goddess or your horse pose. Maybe taking a moment to settle into this shape, shifting side to side, bringing our hands to heart center, shoulders as much over the hips as possible. Take a couple of breaths, maybe flare the toes, shift your weight a little bit further back, make sure those knees are nice and open, and then release it down to a wide fold. You can let your heels come so that they're just even with the toes. Then we'll walk it all the way back around, hands framing that front right foot, step it back to that high plank position. Hold and breathe. Shoulders and hips nice and in line. Entire body is engaged here, lower abs, thighs, everything. We're not dumping down into the shoulders and then softly release. Head back to that downward facing dog, shake it out, and we'll head to the same thing on the left side. Left leg comes up and back behind you, lengthen, 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 and then exhale, step it forward through the hands. Float the arms up, maybe pausing in that runner's lunge and start to find your high crescent position. We'll come high on the ball of that back foot, lengthening through that right leg, and then settling into that left knee. shoulders back away from the ears take one more inhale and then exhale step that right foot to meet the left we're headed back to our chair pose here at the top of the mat and going into a little squat series inhale to lift exhale to lower Nice incline squat, booty back, squeeze your glutes as you lift, all the way up, all the way down. 10 times through, as low as it feels good in your body. Take one more inhale, and exhale, step that right foot back, and start to find that warrior one. Again, 45 degree angle in that back leg. Hips are shining forward as much as possible. It's probably not perfectly square. None of our bodies are machines and that is completely and totally okay. And again, if that heel down does not feel good, you can always bring it up and just come to that high crescent pose again. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, turn towards that long side of the mat, settle back down into that goddess or that horse pose, bringing the palms to the insides of the thighs and take this opportunity for a nice little stretch. We'll inhale to come through center and then exhale as you drop one shoulder down and take your gaze in the opposite direction. Doing that a couple of times through, pausing anywhere that feels good in your body. Always ensuring that the knees are tracking just right over the hips. and then letting it go. Find that nice wide-legged forward fold before walking yourself back around. Hands framing that left foot, step it back, inhale. Come forward, lower down knees, chest, chin, softly peel up into a cobra, and then exhale, release, downward facing dog. Let's move on. Inhale, right leg up and back. Exhale, step it forward and through. We'll grab our weights as we come up to that high crescent, bringing them through to center and to 90 degree angles just to frame the face and just start with a one inch pulse and lift. Little up, little up, little up, little up. 
so those shoulders, those elbows are in line. And start to flip those palms to the back wall behind you. Continue that one inch soft lift. Every movement the exact same size. Lift, lift, lift. Yes. Perfect. Then we'll alternate out a pulse of that back leg. Palms back palms together, little soft pulse, little soft pulse, down in the legs, those hips move one inch down. If the legs are too much, if the arms are too much, you can just do one or the other here. Little down and up, little down and up, down and up, down and up. Then bring those hands through to heart center. Set that left foot to meet the right. Settle back down into that chair and find a nice row, lengthening those arms out in front of you and then peeling them all the way back. Elbows graze the rib cage, triceps lift up toward the ceiling, extend and lift and bend, extend, lift and bend, yes keeping your gaze maybe two feet in front of those toes, trying not to wrench your neck up. Hold the top next time and start to find a kickback extend here. Extend all the way out and then bend using your biceps to bring the hammer of the weight back into your armpit. Extend all the way out, bend, extend, and bend. Staying soft in the knees, 45 degree angle in the upper body, abs stay engaged and then combo move, row, extend, row, lift, extend, row, lift, extend, yes. If the speed is too much, you can always find your own pace that is totally fine, row, and then extend, kick back, row, extend, kick back, yes, stay strong, stay with your breath, and then hands come through to heart center. Step that left foot back, start to find that warrior one position. Continue to keep a 45 degree angle in the upper body and then start to find a fly back. Peeling those triceps towards that back wall behind you, keeping a soft bend in the elbows, fly back, nice soft drift forward. Thinking more about that pull back than the float back together here. Hold it back and then just little pulse back, 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 yes. Take one more inhale and then exhale, release, let it go. Turn towards the left side of your mat. Bring those arms all the way down, long at your sides, palms face forward, and then find a bicep curl as you lower into that goddess or that horse position. Lower and then lift, yes. Thinking about squeezing those biceps every single time that you bring your palms towards your shoulders here, getting as low as you can, then pause at the bottom, 90 degree bend, just little pulse and lift, pulse and lift, just a tiny squeeze of the bicep, maybe a one inch movement here. Take one more breath in and then exhale, let it go. Hands come down to frame that front foot, plant the weight, step it back, high plank, shift forward, full chaturanga, lower down. Inhale to lift up dog, and then exhale downward facing dog. Let it go. Left side, left leg peels up and back behind you. Lengthen it out, grab those weights, float hands through heart center as we come back to that high crescent, back to that 90 degree bend in the elbows, and then just an open to a cactus shape. Open, close, open, close. Those elbows should stay about one inch in front of your shoulder at all times. They're not coming behind it. We're doing each move 10 times per usual with every single one of these. Then hold that cactus shape, 90 degrees, that goal post, just one inch lift, one inch lift, staying in control of every single movement. And then combo. Here we go. Close, open, pulse, and lift. Close, open, pulse, and lift. Yes, beautiful. Nice. Lowering in that back leg. As you find that tiny pulse and lift, close, open, up. Close, open, up, yes. One more inhale, and then exhale, step it forward. Find your chair. Bring those arms out back long behind you, just like you were at the full extension of that kickback and just start to pulse it up. Hammers the weights to the ceiling. Again, it's small, it's one inch movement. Little lift, little lift, 
little lift. Then flip the palms, continue that movement here. Just one inch, one inch, one inch. Staying strong, keeping those arms as long as you humanly possibly can. Alternate. Palms together, then palms to the ceiling. One little lift, one little lift. Alternating each direction. Nice. Again, 10 of those. And hold at the top and softly release. Let it go. Start to step that right foot back, finding that warrior one position, that 45 degree angle. Bring those arms straight out in front of you, just right in front of the shoulders, and just find a one inch lift here. This one can feel brutal on the shoulders. It is short, I promise. Then bring those palms to face down. Continue that one inch lift, soft grip on the weights the entire time here. Little lift, little lift, little lift. Then alternate, palms together, palms to the ground, palms together, palms, palms to the ground. Here we go, one inch, one inch, little lift, little lift, yes. Staying strong, we are almost there. Hands to your heart and walk it back to that wide edge of the mat. Heading back to our goddess pose, this time the elbows are gonna stay floating from the sides as we find that bicep curl. If this feels like too much in the shoulders, bring those elbows back down to your sides. Same thing as before, full bicep curl as you lower and an extension as you lift. Thinking about peeling those quad muscles away from the joints, working everything here, then pause at the bottom, soft elbows, just little pulse, lift, 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 lift. Yeah, one inch up, one inch up. Staying low in the hips 10 more times. And then exhale, let it go. Frame that front left foot. Step it back to meet the right one. High plank, shift forward. Lower down to your chaturanga. Inhale to lift upward facing dog. Peel the shoulders down and back. And then exhale, <sighs> downward facing dog. Let it go. Right leg comes up and back behind you again. Immediately right tricep tap, right leg up and back, left tricep tap. Don't think about it, just do it here. Inhale out, exhale forward. Shoulders come over the wrists as you travel forward. Last time through, take an inhale, extend. Start to bend the knee, open the hip. If it works for you, if it's part of your practice, flip your dog, take it all the way over, lift the hips up, up, up. And then exhale, release your seat, bring it all the way down. So that right foot is down into the mat, left leg is long, and then exhale, start to fold over that leg, getting a little bit of stretch through the calf, through the hamstring. You can always find a strap here to bring that foot closer to your body if that feels good. And walk your hands just underneath the Achilles tendon. Find something where you feel a little bit of stretch without too much effort. Then cross the ankles, rock it back, and then start to find that downward facing dog. Other side, left leg up and back, left knee, left tricep tap. Inhale to extend, left knee, right tricep tap. <sighs> Inhale to extend. We only have three times through. You can do it. Stay strong, stick with me. We are almost, almost done. Then inhale to extend, bend the knee, open the hip, slow as you can go, as much control, slowly, slowly flip your dog, take it all the way over, press the hips up like crazy, let the head fall back, and then softly release your seat all the way down. So that left foot is down into the mat, right leg is long. Maybe your fold looks similar or maybe it looks different on this side. If your hands easily find the bottom of the foot, you can find that as an anchor point, but don't feel like you have to go there. And we'll softly start to release. Scoot your butt a little bit further forward and then lay your head, neck, and shoulders all the way back down on the mat. Walk those feet to the outer edges and then just start to windshield wiper the knees side to side. Feel a little bit of release in the hips and the low back, finding that nice twist. 
and then knees come through to your armpits, maybe finding a happy baby where the hands come to the bottoms of the feet. If that feels like too much, just wrap them around to the backs of the, the calves. Maybe softly rocking here, side to side. Give that sacrum a little bit of massage. Take one more inhale here. And then exhale, start to release until your final resting pose. Bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees diamond out to the side. Bring your right hand to your belly, your left hand to your chest. And take a couple of big, deep breaths to finish your practice. Feel your belly inhale and expand. And then feel it exhale and retract. Take a moment. To thank yourself and your body for all the work that you've done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something. Please remember to like and subscribe.